What's going on, people? I have an interesting video I want to show you guys. And I'm showing this video because of the kind of reaction that it got him. I got this video from TikTok. But before I get started, I want to say that I've been gone for a couple of weeks, a few weeks, because I've been in YouTube jail. Um, I made a video, and in that video, I mentioned something about the political, how could I, how could I say it? Let me see. The political competition, okay, and how Biden was able to become president. And it was like maybe not even a second, but the video received a strike. YouTube suspended me for a couple of weeks. So I've been gone, but I've been on my other channel and that's where I've been uploading to. And a lot of the videos that you guys see tonight on this channel came from that channel. I'll put a link to that channel on the bottom and you guys can go there and subscribe um, if you choose to. But the video I wanna show you is where this young lady on TikTok was quote unquote, preaching, telling people to repent now. She said nothing wrong in this video. It's not even a minute. I don't think it's even a minute long, but she said nothing wrong in the video. She wasn't talking to any particular person, but yet she got such a great response, a negative response for this video. What I found interesting with is, is the fact that so many females on social media are quick to call men creeps. And all the men have to do is maybe go in her inbox or maybe compliment her or show some interest. And she would refer to him as a creep if she's not interested in him, right? They have no problem doing that. And we know in the black sect of YouTube, black females don't mind referring to black men as dusties and all these other crazy names. But I want you to, I'm, I'm going to only post one video, one video response, but this girl seemed to upset a lot of females because she referred to the, the, this, the, the group that she was referring to, she called them creeps. And a lot of females, a lot of black females, responded negatively. They didn't like what she had to say, although she was not speaking to them directly. But her message hit them directly. This is a saying that we always said in church that, say ouch. If the message steps on your toes, just say ouch. But the response was so overwhelming that TikTok removed the sound from that video. The video is still up, but TikTok removed the sound. But she really didn't say anything wrong and she wasn't really attacking any particular person, but yet so many females and males took offense to that. But I want you to hear this young lady and you judge for yourself. Check this out. Stop watching porn, you disgusting weirdos. Repent. You are debased in your mind. Repent. That's disgusting. Bring it to the Lord. Creep. You made me want to vomit. What did she say that was wrong? Nothing. Listen to a response video to her. Repent. That's disgusting. Bring it to the Lord. Creep. You made me want to vomit. That video is really disturbing. I usually don't make reactionary videos to something like that, but I want to stop and pause for a second. Yes, I am very aware that there are people who indulge in the pornography industry who are sick-minded and grotesque. But I was one of those people who struggled with a pornography addiction and I'm not no creep. I'm a sexual assault survivor, which led me down a dark path of this type of addiction. 
I was lost, hurt, broken, confused. And if somebody ever like this addressed me in that kind of manner, I don't know where I would be. You are not projecting the love of Jesus Christ. You are not giving off the mercy and grace that God so freely gives. The pornography industry is so dark and twisted. It is so far from Jesus Christ's design. This war is not against flesh and blood. Please do better. Please. I found that to be interesting. Don't you? Now, why are all these females upset? She didn't say anything wrong, right? Um, it's just her delivery. And um, if you look at John in the Bible, he preached, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? But then they end up killing John the Baptist. Um, he died a very grotesque death, right? So, and even he was beheaded because his message was so strong that a female, her daughter danced and the daughter asked the moms, what should I ask? Because he said, if you dance with me, I get anything you want, even up to half my kingdom. And so the daughter asked the moms, what should I, what should I ask for? And she said, I want the head of John the Baptist. Right. So the word of God is real powerful. And another thing I found interesting is all of these females that responded and even the dudes always talked about the Bible and how God is forgiven and loving and how she should have came with uh, a loving message and, and all this nonsense. Right. But when it comes to men being men, you call men creepy. You call men creeps. You say men are disgusting. So now that it's touching the hearts and mind of many females that don't like her message because it tapped into their secret life, their porn life, where they watch porn. Like the one female said, I'm not a creep. Okay, well, you responded. So apparently that message touched you in some kind of way. See, once you hear that message, now you have an option to change, to put that down. That message was for you because if that message was not for you, it wouldn't have affected you. You would have just said, okay, whatever, and moved on. But it affected you to the point where you made a video and you said, I'm not a creep. And you start talking about, I watch porn, and but I was, I just found that to be quite interesting. What do you guys think? So feedback and tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.